NoFlight is excited to introduce a brand new formatting menu which allows you to independently format your parts from your score. You'll notice that score settings is now formatting in the score menu which can be accessed either on the side panel or at the top. Also, formatting has its own icon at the top in the header of the editor now for easy access. When opening the new formatting panel, you will see that the panel has been moved to the right and is not a hover box in front, so you can always see your score and parts while you are adjusting the formatting. All of the formatting options can be applied to the full score, all of the parts, or each individual part. So every option in general, sizing, text, and page setup may be applied individually and independently to each part or the full score or all of it. So let's go ahead and try a couple of these. One of the exciting options about page setup is you can now have your score in landscape but retain your parts in portrait. General options, we can choose in our full score to show bar numbers, but not on every measure. We'll choose to show part names. You can even have jazz and standard fonts mixed between parts and the score, as well as all of the other options. Now, I'm going to go in and edit all of my parts collectively. In this case, I also want to show bar numbers, but maybe I want to do it on every single measure of my parts. I can also now show the part name of my part on the top left of the part. And I just made that selection. In addition, I'm going to go ahead and indent the spacing of the first staff of my parts now that the part name is at the top. Going down general, again, I can choose fonts. I can choose to automatically create multi-measure rests at the part level, but not at the score level, as well as copyright and all of the general options. Again, sizing, I can have independent note sizing to ensure that my notes fit exactly on one or two or three pages. You can view each individual part as you go through. So I'm actually editing all of the parts, but I can choose which part I'm looking at and how those changes affect that part. Or if I want to make changes to only this trumpet two, I can select only trumpet two and apply changes here. But going back to all parts, I can also choose my text options. Maybe I want the title on my parts slightly bigger. Maybe I want composer a little smaller here. You can adjust all the sizes independently on your parts. In addition, you can also adjust margins and everything else. So now that you have your parts set up, you can then go in and view each individual part and ensure it looks exactly the way you'd like it to look. One other change in part of this feature is that when you're looking at the full score, since the full score now has independent adjustments of formatting from the parts, your full score view is going to retain the full score settings when you're viewing two or more parts in a score. So what that means, if I go into the new parts panel where I can select which part I'm viewing, if I view just one part, it immediately jumps to the part settings that I have applied. And I'll go back to show all parts and it goes back to the score. In addition, when I'm viewing combinations of parts, I'm viewing combinations of parts in the score. So if I want to unselect the tuba or unselect the trombone, I can go through and just decide what I want to show on the score. Once you get down to an individual part, then it shows what that individual part would be formatted like. One trick, if you'd like to create maybe different custom views or different versions, once your score is finalized, remember, you can always save a copy of your work, and you can have multiple copies of your score with different formattings applied. So for example, if for some reason maybe there was a piano reduction here, or you wanted this score with just the, the low parts, you can always save copies of scores with only the individual parts you want to create all sorts of different views. I hope you enjoy the new formatting panel, and this is one of many updates to come to allow formatting of your music and make your parts look as great as possible using NoteFlight.